Work, grind, fly. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, so today I wanted to actually read my two blogs from last week. One was about how to lose the five pounds you may have gained um, the weekend prior. You know, on a Monday you get back and you have all this Monday guilt and regret for treating your body like a garbage can with a hairy lid all weekend, uh, right? Just eating everything and not worrying about your, um, your health or your diet or the longevity and vitality of your body. And then the second blog that I posted last week was about, uh, what was it about? Oh, how not to do that again the following weekend. But anyway, if anybody did, did not miss these or they just don't like to read blogs, here we go. So the title of the first one is, did you gain five pounds last weekend? Hey love, it's Monday and I have one question for you. Did you summon all of your courage by stepping on the scale this morning? If you did, were you happy with the number you saw? Or did you freak out a little bit? Your insides filling with instant regret. Did you see five extra pounds that weren't there last Friday? Or maybe it was two pounds or three pounds, or maybe it was six pounds, depending on how big you are, or, you know, tall or whatever. Um, so these extra, this extra poundage, did it force you to ask yourself, why? Why did I binge out last weekend? Why did I eat all of those things or have the pizza, the beer, the ice cream, the Big Mac, or whatever other unhealthy junk food item? Um, when I knew, you know, you know that this is gonna happen on Monday. You're gonna feel all this guilt and all these crappy, depressing feelings on Monday, but you still go ahead over the weekend and just go to town anyway. So if, you know, this happened last weekend into Monday, you know, now it's Tuesday, I don't want you to fret. Instead, I'm gonna give you my simple Monday blueprint for getting back to your pre-weekend baseline. So here's how to essentially lose that little bit of weight, because a lot of times it's water weight, it's sodium, it's your body trying to recalibrate um, its pH balance. So oftentimes you didn't just gain literal fat. If you ate a ton of fat, maybe, because the fat you eat is quite literally the fat you wear. Um, I could go off on a tangent about that, about how little dietary fat adults actually need um, to survive, to have their cells coated. It tastes so good when it hits your lips. Oh, the struggle is re real. I hear you, Terry, so true. <laughs> but here we go, here are my um, quick tips or my Monday blueprint, if you will, for getting the weight off and kind of just letting your body cleanse and detoxify itself for the week ahead and to maybe set you up to not really want to do this type of weekend binging again. So first thing you do on a Monday or now it's Tuesday, you can still do this. Drink a liter of water. Don't wait. Don't think about it. Just do it. Don't complain about it. Just do it. It's the easiest thing to do. Just I hear people all day long. Um, Oh, water is so hard to remember to drink. It doesn't if you just make it a habit. It doesn't take long to make it a habit, just a couple weeks, and then your body starts to want that water. So one liter, I'm gonna show you exactly. Hold on one second. One liter of water is only two of these. I have a pretty big head, so <laughs> it's, this is about 16 ounces. So it's about two of these, tiny bit more than two of these. 33 ounces. Okay, first one, drink liter water. Second one, on a Monday or on Tuesday, eat light. So to rebalance, to recover from having a really heavy weekend of heavy, heavy, dense, oily, greasy, fat, high protein foods, eat light. It means no condiments, no dressings, no added salt, sodium. Stick to raw fruits fresh green leafy vegetables. Don't even have a ton of the like cooked veggies, sauteed, um, you know, nightshade vegetables, such as like onions, tomato, well you can have some tomatoes, high water content, but pepper, stuff like that. Just eat like really just like leafy green veggies, really nice, lots of fiber, kind of run through your system, just start pushing stuff out, which is really, really cool. Um, so this will make you feel better quickly. Again, like I said, the abundance of fiber, potassium in these foods will help you eliminate some of that extra bulge really quickly. 
see. Okay. Uh, number three, chill out with the protein. So just for today, uh, protein is very difficult for the body to digest. It already has a tough enough job sorting through and processing all the gunk from last weekend. So just, um, just for a day, maybe two days, lower your protein uh, intake. That's really, really gonna help you get rid of that extra bulge or um, that just extraness around your middle area or puffiness if you have it in your face or if you tend to show it in other places of your body. That'll come down quickly if you just kind of keep your, you stick your diet with um, comp, you know, carbohydrates, complex and simple, um, lots of water, low sodium, lower on the protein and very low on the fat. Fat is very hard for the body to kind of churn through. Number four, this is more for the mental psychological side of things, not as much physiological. Number four, get a great workout in. I know, I know, you feel sluggish, it doesn't matter. Exercising today will mentally make you feel back in control and re thank you, and renew your self confidence. Um, and I cannot tell you how important this is. You will go from a cranky, irritable human to a calm and pleasant one. It's like magic. <laughs> so seriously though, don't skip out on this from a physiological standpoint too. You'll stoke the metabolic flames, enhancing your body's ability to burn off some of the junk food you consume during the workout. I'm sorry, during the weekend and for the hours afterwards as well. And then I say at the conclusion of the blog, all right, dear friend, no more stressing about this. Just get the job done. Those five pounds will be gone again in no time. And for goodness sakes, next weekend, don't repeat the same mistakes. Respect your body and recognize that it needs love and nourishment, not chemicals, GMOs, or other junk. I love you. Don't forget that no matter what you ate, you are still a rock star. And this is so true. You still are. It's inside of you all the time. Your awesomeness is always inside of you. We may pile some junk on top of it, but it's what makes us awesome is always here and it never goes anywhere. It's just sometimes we have to dig through the junk that we've piled on top, get rid of that, and then go back to source, go back to what makes us us, which is pure awesomeness. So you're still valuable, beautiful, and worthy. Have a fantastic, healthy week, and I will see you soon. All right, so that was that blog. And then later, last week, I wrote another one on how to avoid doing the same Thing and filling your body with crap again the following weekend. And that video is right here, you guys. My new favorite weight loss trick. Check it out. It's not necessarily what you think, but this is how we're going to end the insanity and the madness and that weekend binge cycle and never gain that five pounds over the weekend again. Check it out. work.